for traders. For today's um, analysis, I decided to cover um, a Euro versus US dollar. I will also speak about the USD versus Japanese yen. And because um, I think there is a there are good opportunities on the Euro versus US dollar and the USD versus Japanese yen. So firstly, I will start with the Euro versus US dollar. As I mentioned like a few days ago, uh, based on the daily time frame, Euro dollar, I'll remove all of the drawings right now. And uh, basically Euro was Euro traded upside for literally for a 20 to 30 days with a pull with a few day pullbacks. But what I found basically like last week and especially like a seven, eight days ago is that we're building like Euro started to build like a, we call this the, a drift. Uh, basically the run phase ended there and it's the buyers got a really big problems to extend this into the new high ground. So and Based on this exhaustion, basically, uh, we got an initial sell-off. That happened. That happened last week. Now, naturally, uh, market will do the retest phase and try to retest and investigate how many buyers we got to react on that uh, sell-off. And what I found basically is that buyers yesterday, after the ESM um, event, they became very, very, uh, I will say, sloppy. They became very, very. Um, the price section did look very, very bad on the way up. The momentum dried, um, and we got a this downside reaction exactly like um, I was speaking about in the last few days. Now, the potential for the euro to go still downside is still there. I think that we can revisit the Friday's low on 1.2, 135. And there is a potential. So in terms of the pips, there is a potential for the, another 50 pips move or 45 pips drop. If I put this low, this low here, this low is from uh, May 13th, right? In the, for the bigger drop, there is a next downside target, the 1.2068. So my recommendation on this currency pair will be to watch for a selling opportunities on the rallies. And we got one, one rally right now. As you see here, we got a good downside move, a little, we lost a little momentum, and then this is like a uh, pretty much a bear, bear flag on the 15. So this can be a good for intraday selling around this stage. And this is literally working together with this daily drift and the resell on the re this retest phase. So I expect Euro to still uh, continue and to trade even more lower today. So watch for selling opportunities on the rallies. Uh, on the USD versus Japanese yen from the other side, we were also right about this call that, uh, you know, we s I recommended to watch for a buying opportunity placing the stop below this uh, yesterday's low price didn't hit that basically and we got it upside now I think that we're doing like a, just a pullback stuff and I think you know that we can find the buyers uh, more buyers and that we are heading towards 110 19 level and then eventually we can attack the 110 80 level and 110 85 there is a plenty of potential uh, to the upside on the USD versus Japanese yen so watching to buy on the pullbacks like this this pullback, uh, recent swing high, set at 109.71 level. Watching to buy around that zone seems like a pretty good, pretty good deal. Um, stop loss can be placed again in this pullback low 109.55, and then see if this can hold for another good upside swing.